Assalamualaikum and hi Miss Wanjelena. I am Nurul Iza bin Kamuat Badari from AD1 at Group 3B. In this video, I would like to present an introduction on a formalistic and contextual analysis of the Zukifli Guyong. Indeed, from the beginning, education can influence the quality and civilization of nation in the world. In society, we need a value system that can be developed and nurtured so that its citizens have a high ethic in life. Education is the process of acquiring the most important knowledge in human life. The educational phase will take place in human life, either formally or informally. All this potential developed in human life from birth. The development of all this potential can enhance intellectual ability, skill and sensitivity to the social environment, especially through Students. Education means the process of conveying and acquiring knowledge to the developed human intellect and self-confidence. Therefore, there are many factors that influence the style of Malaysian artists in making their artwork, the introduction of English, history, law, and cultural value is to foster obedience to every powerful rule. This led to the emergence of an artist approach based on individualistic expression which was articulate and express expressively from the education system. Thus, this phenomenon paved the way for the birth of modern and western artistic approach from the early 20th century, especially in urban areas. Thank you very much. Thank you to Nurul Isa for the presentation. My name is Nur Atika Bitti Shukri. I am from AD1183. I'm here to present about the artist, as you can see, Sir Keith Lee Bouillon that we chose. He was a pastel painter, which he was dinner as he won a few competitions of his artwork. He also was leading one of the a group, which is Wednesday Art Group, and was accompanied by Patrick and Cajon. And his artwork mostly to the contemporary era, which it, uh, has happened on what happened in his era. He's also uh, popular in the time as we analyze which is his artwork Tabong, Paper Bots, and also Remaining Biji Saga. That starts about his artwork. As you can see, this artwork is named as Tabong, which was existent since 1961. This artwork uh, represents about the importance of saving and it was uh, tagged by uh, Balai Sini Negara as their permanently collection. In that era, Tabong has been known as a Tabong Ayam, Tabong Unta, and also Tabong Haji, and it was very synonym to the people as they didn't have any service to manage their financial. People was very very uh, synonym with it because um, uh, people in the time used to adopt a saving attitude and it was uh, be uh, inspired to the painter which is Suki Fribouillon to do the artwork based on the contemporary era and which has been happened on his era. The formalistic uh, analysis that we have analyzed on his painting is uh, color first. Of course, 
tester he has uh, used it better as his media on this painting the color that must be used in this painting is a uh, yellow and orange color as a uh, uh, bright areas and uh, while well, the dark areas he was putting uh, such as blue uh, or uh, dark color and also they are uh, uh, it was a basic layer which is a uh, painter was added a few colors after the basic la layers such as um, different colors such as a uh, green a uh, dark brown and uh, something like that and second is a uh, improper line the artist was applied the improper line to the um, door and the tiles and it brings out the variety of line in there and compared to the left side and the right side we can see the right side was spacious uh, then the left side as the girl was laying down uh, while the man was looking up to the tube and it looks a uh, difference of the space says there and based on the figures and the structures uh, it shows the realism in the painting because uh, it looks so cartoonish it's not look real and moreover uh, the compositions and uh, structures on the figures also uh, was uh, using an improper line so we can look that is looks so cartoonish according to the artwork the artist was putting a depiction of society which about the uh, benefits of money and when it goes to the financial emergency these are two figures which were exposed a man and the tube a man who are uh, steer the money from the tube the artist uh, shows how important it is when it indeed and the saving become useful in our hardship the scenery created a very deficient situations because the environment in the artwork shows no property and other than figures there are only figures and no properties in there and it shows the uh, artist has um, uh, eliminates about the existing of the property to build uh, the needy situation of a society and the artist also put a contrast elements which he shows a figures <laughs> with his back open and uh, the artist has uh, created about a silly thing uh, to get um, audience attention attention uh, uh, overall uh, we can see that the artists are trying to express by his artwork uh, about the society's life during the his era or uh, his contemporary era and in our view the artist show turns a low brightness of yellow to brown color and the artwork uh, has to uh, will create a gloom situation and besides that the scratch uh, with a few colors can be added or mixed on the uh, basic layer also so that will not look so mm, look so um, uh, harmony and the idea of the artist of the figure uh, with his back up head is not suitable to be exhibited because it was uh, encoding of sensitive content the audience must be mind uh, focus on that area because it will not and uh, they will not take a good message of what the artist trying to convey and the artwork can be cornered uh, of uh, can be cornered a controversy because these are two figures which is a girl lay down and the man who with a big up hand uh, and then 
the artist should edit a proper appearance of the man because it will reflect about a Malaysian attitude so it really looks so mm, good Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Rabiatul Adawiyah. So, here I want to present about our second artwork. So, the title of the artwork is Paper Boats, which is, was created in year 1964. And the media is Pastel on Paper. So, here I want to explain about appreciation on form of this painting so the title of the artwork called as paper boats and was painted by Zulkifli Buyong and the, the that painting was created in 1964 and this painting was represent about environment and situation where they have three students who just come back from the school and was playing a pep with a paper board. So, the artist tried to represent the majority of local people in the previous era was good with their life without using any gadget. So, by the existence of this painting, the artist want to tell that many of the residents who lived in previous era were influenced to play this such of thing so the formalistic of the painting that we had analyzed the element of art which is the artist apply on this painting is shape as we can see in this painting we can see they have many type of shape we also can see that have, they has geometric and organic shape so as we can see that a uh, human figure was a uh, organic organic shape also we can see that paper board shape second we can see how he play with a uh, color based on this painting we can see that art, the artist try has apply a warm color for example he used an orange color which is a warm color the artist try to show that the painting has a calm and peaceful atmosphere. So, we can see the artist choose to emphasize the white color to show that have a student who are playing. Also, the artist also, we can see artist apply a impress, impressionism on his painting. Also, the artist apply the cartoonist style on his work so next appreciation on content according to the artwork we can see the artist try to show they had three students who likely just who just got back from the school or just returned from the school and they are choosing to playing with a paper board and playing next to body field the art the artwork told that people in previous era was lived in contemporary era which is they are easily got influenced by doing some things I refer to the painting we can see that the student or the appearance of the student is like primary school so also we can see that the three student is like have a appearance or weak a weak in the weak individual so refer to the paper board we can see they are influenced by japanese people because paper board which is called as origami is originally from japan also japanese people are served as an elegant emotion and this origami also done by their leisure time so from this painting we can see that the book got written by the student and it is openly show that the student were not interest, interested on studying so based on the painting we can see that the artist has a 
oppress his mind and show that those children is thinking on that era which is contemporary era in our opinion the artist should more playing with the warm color because to show a scenery the evening or the twilight and also to show that situation that student have written from school also the audience might misconception is that the artist tried to tell the book was written and to and wrote toward books that had written in Jawi. So they might think that their children will follow that behavior, which is read a book and be respectful with towards a Jawi book. Maybe the artist can change the material of paper and show a blank paper. It might be because of the rest of Malay society was very weak at that time. And did that from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Kamaliatul Nabila binti Abdullah. I'm from AD 1183A. Today I would like to present my part which is third at work of Zulkifli Buyong titled Bermain Biji Saga. This artwork was exist in 1962. He used crayon as a media and the size is 54.8 times 74.7 cm. Zulkifli Buyong was the artist renowned for portraying scenes from childhood. The artwork is about a group of children who was playing traditional Malay games which is BG Saga games. He creates that artwork to tell the people on how children's lifestyle in the past. There are many formal aspects in producing this artwork such as Zulkifli Buyong applied element of lines. We can see he made up the shape by drawing the outline using lines. He also used the element of color, which is he used different type of warm color to highlight figure of the children and also to stand out the scenes. For example, he used yellow and orange the most and addition of pink and blue color at the certain part. Next, he applied the scale as we can see different size of children and we can pretend that as different edges of children. Lastly, he also applied the pattern in his artwork such as he drew a pattern on children's clothes. For content, Lukifli Buyong showed how enjoy of living a carefree child playing and joking in local long time ago. There are seven child with different edges and dress, as we can see from their body size and skin color. Each of them were showing their own expression during playing the games. Natural environment is very clearly illustrated that the meaning and the message is related to the beauty of Malay culture at that time. Even with just taking a simple figure and situation as an example of a situation where the child are playing a saga seeds but a very heavy emphasis content behind the artwork. Apart from that, it can also be explained that this work also displayed the value of the close friendship between the children who fill their leisure time by playing saga seeds together. In the artwork, it can be seen the children in the past who live in poverty and use simple toys and objects that they could find by themselves to play with. This artwork has exposed the styles of figures which is cartoon characters and caricatures that has formed their own identity and looks more local culture. What can I conclude from this artwork is 
Zulkifli Buyong tried to portray childhood scenes, especially during their leisure time. In conclusion, there are three artworks from Zulkifli Buyong that we analyze, such as Tabo, 1961, Kapal Kertas, 1964, and Bermain Biji Saga, 1962. These are the styles of artwork that were done for the Malaysian artist Juki Fibrio before independence. The art in Malaysia starting with the existence of art from the point of view art seems to continue to grow to this day. One of the artists from the Wednesday Art Group the Zukifli Buyong often uses image of figure in his work. There are some of his other work from above. It has become a painting of modern Malaysian history, such as Murid Sekolah, 1962, then Kelambu, 1964, and Membakar Semut, 1967. He applied the basic of design and design organization in the flow of the visual art thinking in his time. The content of his artwork is honestly for contemporary art, pastel realism, and colorful surrounding. Thank you very much.